an appropriate atmosphere. It doesn't quite work without a stadium. Oh. FIFA 12 is the latest in the EA Sports football franchise. It's one of these games every year, and usually it's just minor adjustments and improvements here and there, but this year they've made a pretty big change to the gameplay. That's right, FIFA 12 introduces what is called tactical defending, and it changes the way you play. In FIFA 11, you could hold down a button to make your defenders rush the ball, but now that same button actually makes them backpedal and stand off the attacking player. This is all about containing your opponent, and in turn it makes it look more realistic, but doesn't make it more fun. Well, it's hard to get the hang of, especially if you're used to last year's game. It just it makes the football a lot slower and you have to concentrate a lot harder to defend properly. It's now much easier to be put off balance and see your opponent cruise through to score an awesome goal. Guys, I think experienced players will love that tactical defending makes it more like a sim of the real thing. But, you know, people that just want a bit of fast fun will really want to go into the settings and change it back to the legacy system, which makes it more like FIFA 11. There's also a new player impact system, which enhances the physics in collisions. Although with some players, it's a bit hard to tell if they aren't just faking it. There are a stack of improvements in other areas of the game too. Loading times are faster. There's more detail in the career modes, such as the addition of player morale, and some of the online features have been enhanced. You earn XP every time you play the game, which goes towards raising your favourite club's standing on a global ladder, as well as your own FIFA status. You get such a warm, fuzzy feeling every time that experience ticks over, even if you can't spend that XP on anything. There is a daily points cap too, so you can't go too nuts with it. FIFA has always looked pretty slick, but this version I think is the smoothest yet. At times you catch yourself just going, oh, this looks real. I actually thought some of the players looked a bit blobby at times. My vision receptors can analyse graphics down to individual pixels, so I can see every speck of rubbish render. Can't see the forest for the trees. Can't see the picture for the pixels, more like. Still looks pretty good, though. <laughs> well, we should wrap this up. Hex, final whistle? Well, I say don't rage quit this game if you don't like that new defending system, because I think it adds a layer of depth. And if you don't like it, you can always just go and change it in the settings. I'm giving it 9 out of 10 rubber chickens. I think it's a great game. Yeah, it is. I'm still on the fence about the defending system. I find it's better against the AI, but if you're playing against human opponents, so you definitely want to use the old one, I think. I'm going to give it 8.5 out of 10 rubber chickens.